back to Just Between Us, where we tell horror stories from underground. Ooh, I like that you said hello. <laughs> oh, I never Sometimes you just say welcome, but like this time you were sort of like, welcome, hello. Yeah, we have started recording late in the day, so my mind's kind of already gone. You didn't say anything about my haircut. You didn't say anything about me dying <laughs> and getting a haircut. So this week I thought we would talk about like uh, the rise in everyone wanting to be an influencer. I gotta say I get it. Really? I totally get it. Because the thing is, is like you're sold the idea that this is easy money and easy attention. So I, why wouldn't you want to do that? I would never think it's easy. You know, I think people think it's accessible in a way that other things aren't accessible. Like being an actress or like being like a, a like, I don't know, in the actual film industry. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, like being a model or I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know because I, when I look at it now, I'm like, this is so much like video editing. This is so much like what people think like, oh, you just wake up and you film yourself and that's it. But they don't. When I'm watching someone's TikToks, I'm like, oh my God, how much, how many times they have to shoot this? How many times <laughs> they have to edit this? Like, I always thought about when we were talking about like our jobs where you would just say influencer or content creator, but I always thought it was better to say that we edit, we write, we, you know, because like breaking it down, it's a, it's a job you may not want. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm an influencer. I feel like I'm a writer and content creator. Sure, yeah. Because like influencer to me sort of feels, and maybe this is wrong, is like they're just creating content about their life. Oh. Or to like sell you stuff. Or to like sell you stuff. And I feel like we also do like uh, like long form writing and narratives yeah. and, and scripts and, and like we did sketches. So I don't know. Like to me like it. But maybe that's wrong. Maybe an influencer is all sorts of things. Yeah, I always think of an influencer as someone who's like being aspirational. Mm. But then I think we came of age at a time where it was like heightened to be relatable. Yeah. Where it was like, how can you be the most like awkward and quirky and like relatable person who's like, oh my God, their struggles are just like my struggles. And like, instead of being like, you know, now there's like these AI generated influencers who are just like perfect looking. What? You never heard of this? There's AI generated influencers? Oh my God, Allison. There's like a thing where some influencer girls, like like Instagram model girls, are not even real people. Yeah, they're not even real people. Who's making them? Companies that want to sell stuff. Wow. So it's not, it's not like Lil Michaela, who you know is fake. Like you look at her and she's kind of know. like a robotic looking thing. Um, or, or like she clearly is sort of like CGI. Uh -huh. This is like... They look like real girls and they're like, have their pages and they're like, just drinking my morning coffee from this coffee company, but she's, she's not a real person. But who's writing their content? Like an ad company. Wow. That's wild. So we don't even, I mean, how do they even know we exist? I, I, right? I wonder many times if I exist. Right? I think like the idea of influencers is supposed to be that they're kind of like, selling you something or making you want to do something. I don't know. There's a guy on my kickball team that he's like a cocktails guy. He's like oh. a very good looking gay guy. And then he got popular because he makes cocktails and like, he's not really a bartender. He just invents ideas. Although I guess now he is a bartender, but like his thing is just, it's just videoing his day, videoing his outfits. And then, but I would argue because he makes the cocktails, he influences people to buy Cocktail yeah, material to follow. and stuff. Because, right, it's like influencing how you live your life to, like, mirror how they live their life. Yeah. But I, I get the desire because, like, people want to work for themselves. Yeah. People want to, like, have a flexible schedule. I mean, in theory, the idea of being an influencer is appealing, right? But then, like, I think also a thing that we're seeing is, like, the when you get too big, like, the inevitable, like, people will just, like, come for you. Yeah. Like, I feel like they're just, like, Sometimes I feel, like, safer that we're, like, smaller. Oh, yeah. And that we can do other stuff. Yeah. That, like, we can um, – that it's not going to be scrutinized as part of our, like, larger content. Like, I think, like, we, you have the – for your books and stuff, right? You have the goodwill of mental health stuff, of our audience, like, trusting you and liking you. 
but you're not, um, we're not so big that like some podcast is going to rip your book apart (laughs) and be like, fuck this girl. It's like, you see these people get big and loved and then like push off the platform. Yeah. Which is like really sad. Yeah. I, I mean, it depends on what you ultimately want to do, or it depends on like how you conduct yourself as an influencer, because also there's this double edged sort of, if you're just kind of a milk toast person, you're just putting out whatever, not milk toast, but you know what I mean? Like you're like, your thing is just like coffee. And then, and then someone's like, why won't you talk about Palestine? And you like, you're like, then this person who's like, our stuff is at least like lightly political and like has some bent to it. But then the people who are just like, I don't know, I just sell hair gummies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, those are, I feel bad for them. Cause I'm like, you don't, you like. <laughs> right. It's like a pressure to like be everything to everyone and speak about everything in a well educated way. Yeah. And that's but, like a lot of pressure for someone who just like maybe took off because they're a good dancer. Right. And we luckily like we don't have that. Like we we were always like writers and, and people. Well, I think our stuff was always uh, political. Yeah. So like that's that's um, like a better place to be in, because I think in like early 2000s, I don't think anybody or like t- early 2010s. I don't think people were asking the same of influencers. I don't think Mm. there was like that much of a demand on them to be involved in the actual world that there is now. Yeah. So I don't envy it. I would never want to be an influencer starting now. And I would never, uh, like I would never want my kids. Like if I had kids, I would never want them to be like famous kids on the internet. I wouldn't want them to be famous kids. If they wanted to be famous adults, who am I to stop that? Well, I'm, yeah, of course you can't. At a certain point. But I'm just saying, like, as, you know, for kids, I'm like, I, I would not, I feel very nervous, even though some kids are, like, cute and, like, they, they want to, the, I'm like, the parents want to be influencers. Mm. And I don't know if they do, but they think it's fun. No, but, yeah, like, we're, I don't, we don't like underage content creators. No, I don't really at all. Um, it's icky. I am glad that we came of, of our, you know, height, like that we reached our height, not at this time. But I also think that like we, we were putting out scripted stuff. So I feel like we were never vlogging. But people still didn't realize that sometimes people didn't know that our stuff was scripted. (laughs) Yeah, that was wild. Like I, like sometimes people fully thought we were like videoing our lives, but I was like, you thought we were videoing our lives from like multiple angles, like multiple camera angles, with like with like (laughs) like like, stuff where we're clearly acting. Well, I think the problem was we used our actual names, but like people, you know, people thought that we were vlogging. They thought it they were seeing our real lives. That's wild. They were upset we weren't roommates. I know. It was funny when people in my real life would think we were actually roommates. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Um, like, I, I think, like, there was um, an, an an era of naivete when it came to what was going on online where you could still kind of fool people. And then now I think people are very skeptical and, like, very um, parasocial and way more entitled to know about you. I also feel like the term influencer – has so many connotations to it. Yeah. Because I think I could say, oh, I'm a mental health influencer. Mm -hmm. But, like, for whatever reason, claiming that term feels, like, arrogant to Mm. me and, like, incorrect. And so I always say, like, mental health advocate. Yeah, advocate. It feels like a weird thing to claim for yourself. It almost feels like a term someone else has to give to you. Yeah, like it girl. What's what's that? Like an it girl. Like, you know, like a, like a, what they used to, I get what, I guess what an influencer used to be. Like a, a, a girl who in Hollywood who like every, like Jenna Ortega was like an it girl or like No, Florence that's not Pugh. all that I'm saying. I'm just saying it's like not a thing you can call yourself. It's a thing someone else has to call. Yeah, but you can't call yourself an it girl. Oh, I thought you were someone, saying all influencers were it girls. No, no, no. <laughs> Somebody has to call you an it girl. But also an it girl is a type of influencer. Yeah. They just didn't have the word influencer back in the day. When did that become a thing? Influencer? Yeah. I don't know. You want me to look it up? Yeah. Whoa, the word influencer has been used in English since mid-1600s. No, it wasn't a job title until the early 2010s. But still. Yeah. Staying power. Who invented being an influencer? Oh, Julia Allison. So Allegedly. Never she was like a blogger. I mean, I guess, yeah, they always kind of had like, hey... Famous person. Use yeah. this Coca-Cola. Socialite. Yeah, socialite. 
Ah, but that connotates rich. Yeah. I wish I was Well, that's the other way. thing is like how much money do you think these big influencers are making? Some of them are making so much. Yeah. But it depends on what they're doing. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I, it's such a weird thing because we do not make the money that people might think we do. No. At all. I know you disagree, but like our numbers aren't what our numbers used to be. Like we used to make more money off of our content than we do now. And we used to get brand deals all the time and we don't, I don't get them anymore. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't see a lot of people get brand deals. Like people of our, like high up, sure. But people of our level, maybe like one I see a year for people. Yeah. Like brands and, and there was like the height of podcasts and the height of YouTube where brands would just give you like that you would have brand deals all the time. Then like that heyday like went away and yeah. now they like don't do it anymore. Yeah. And podcast ads are like not what they were anymore either. So I do wonder what the new level of influencing is. Is it just like. Maybe it's just the attention. Yeah. Maybe it's like not as lucrative to yeah. be an influencer now because I feel like TikTok pays you nothing compared to like what YouTube right. pays you. But then it's like you have the the audience to like get do something else or get into the parties or sell right. the book or, you know, it's just now yeah. more just like the fame of it and then using that fame to get the money. Yeah, I think so, which is different. Yeah. And we like each have our own like career stuff that we want to do. And so I, don't. I just want to live in Colorado with a bunch of dogs. You're literally writing books. Well, yeah, you have to. You have to. No, you have to. <laughs> you can you can start writing your books and then you can move to Colorado and be an author. I know. I want that. So, so do that. Was John wants to live on a boat? Well, no. John wants to live in Los Angeles. Oh. He wants to pursue his dreams. Gross. My hair looks arguably so much more different than yours does. And you didn't say anything. Cut. <laughs>